My altar is calling in you, oh God. Just go ahead and just talk to the Lord. Can you just pray in the Holy Ghost? Just go ahead and give him all of yourself tonight. Glory to God. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me. Let me just go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Shabana Baranega de Baran Bibi de Catapara de Catilla Catapala de Cate Robo Shapata Capati Cusa Legonda Borodo Gotapara de Catapala de Catacatea la Cata. Tonight we give you everything, Lord. Tonight we give you everything, Lord. We declare that you have our everything tonight. We declare you have everything. You have the service. You have the service. We give it to you, Lord. We give it to you, Lord. Lati kupana shamana kahata leko bondo poro tina makahati kahata Oh, yes, yes, yes. Shama barati kupa leko dabala gadabala dagadabala 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. 
glory to God, glory to God, yes. Wow, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. To God, glory 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 to God, glory. We give you praise. 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 We give you praise.
Holy Ghost, we welcome you here tonight. We welcome you here tonight. We welcome you tonight. I tell you, God is in the midst of his people. God is strong in our midst tonight. So much release of the Spirit tonight. So much outpouring of the Lord tonight. So much abundance of rain tonight. So much abundance of rain. We give you praise, oh God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name of worship. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Mm. Mm. Father, we thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Mm. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Oh, thank you for your mighty outpouring tonight. Thank you for your mighty outpouring tonight. We give you praise. We honor you in this place. Excited in my spirit. Lift <laughs> those hands to Jesus. Just lift those hands to Him. Oh Lord, I don't know why, but I'm so excited in my spirit.
I want to preach, but I'm getting a restraint. I don't know why. I want to preach, but there is a restraint. It's like the Holy Ghost wants to do something in this place. Can everyone lift up his hands and say, Lord, I'm here for you tonight. Fellowship. God for this privilege. <laughs> ah, if the Lord gives you a new one, you have no option than to take it. You don't have any option, you will take it. Thank you, Lord. Yours is yours by the hand of God. Take it. I am 
I want to thank God for the privilege to bring God's word to us tonight. My father is not around. Uh, Travel to Meduguri for a meeting. Uh, maybe should in case they invited you for the first time, they told you about Pastor Ben and the fellowship. I want to confess I'm not Pastor Ben. Hmm? You better know I'm not Pastor Ben. When you come next Sunday, you'll see Pastor Ben. But this is the fellowship. This is the fellowship. I was speaking to my father some days, and we were discussing, and he said to me, James, it is not about a man. It's about what God has released on the fellowship. It's about an outpouring that God has decided to endow the fellowship upon. So, if you know that this is the fellowship, you will know that the fellowship is a place that angels are excited and delights to come. If you know that this is the fellowship, you will know that the fellowship is a place that God has given us his presence for free. So, it's not about a man, it's about coming into an atmosphere. A place that God has already vowed to say my presence will be in this place. So many things will happen to you tonight because you came to the fellowship. You know, following God's servant has blessed my life in several ways. You know, my life took a new leave when I started listening to his messages intentionally. There is no day or week that will pass that I won't listen to daddy. So let me confess. In case you see me repeating some of the things he has said, please don't be offended. Hmm? Is that okay? In case you see, in fact, I can preach some of his messages word for word. So in case you hear me saying several things he has said, I'm the one copying. Hmm? A waiting person eat night they vomit. I think you know. Uh-huh. John chapter 1. reading from verse 19 oh glory to God and this is the record of John when he when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him who are thou let's go and he confessed and deny not but confessed I am what not the Christ. Please talk to me. I am not the Christ. Let's go. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, What? No. Go ahead, Sam. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am what? The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as who? As who? Now meaning, John is conversant with the prophecy of Isaiah. There was something that was said concerning him in Isaiah. And John is repeating that. Let's go ahead. And there which we are sent on the Pharisee. Now let's, let's go to Matthew chapter 11. We know the whole story. Matthew chapter 11. Let's read from verse 1. Please, to gain more understanding of what I'm trying to say, I will encourage you, pick daddy message, kingdom violence. You understand what I'm saying more? Did you hear what I'm saying? To have a better picture of what I'm going to say tonight, please, 
go to telegram pick daddy message on kingdom violence you can also pick the substance of faith you have a better picture of what i'm saying matthew chapter 11 let's read from verse 1 and it came to pass when jesus has made an end of commanding his 12 disciples he departed chance to teach and to preach in their cities now when john had heard in the prison the works of christ he sent two of his disciples and said unto him art thou he that shall come or do we look forward another jesus answered and said unto him go and show john again those things which ye do hear and what and see the last verse the blind receive their sight and the lame walk the lepers are cleansed the deaf hear the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them at this place verse 3 we hear John sending his disciple to go and ask Jesus a question and the question was are you the one to come or is there another one we see that John at this point there is a change in his conviction this was the John that testified that this is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of men or the sins of the world and two of his disciples heard and left him this is John in John chapter 3 verse 30 that declared he must increase and I must do what? I must decrease from where we read we saw John giving a valid testimony of Jesus we saw John saying what he believed that Jesus is that man that shall come but in Matthew chapter 11 we began to see that at this point it seems as if something was beginning to happen to John at this point in Matthew chapter 11 we began to see that the foundation of the faith of John was beginning to shake in Matthew chapter 11 we began to we saw that the testimony of John concerning Jesus John was beginning to question it doubt has crept in we saw that John was at the verge of an attack the enemy wanted to attack him but hear me friends there is no way the enemy will attack you if he has not attacked your belief system first the enemy wanted to bring an attack to John but as long as John's conviction of John of Jesus is still intact there is no way that attack can come so what what did we see we saw that at that point his faith was shaking let me say this to you friend there is no way the devil will attack you without attacking your faith first if the devil can succeed in attacking your belief system if the devil cannot succeed in attacking the foundation of your faith the devil cannot attack you Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 the faith of a man is valid in his work in this life Ephesians chapter 6 chapter 6 verse 16 above all doing what taking the sheet of faith where with ye shall be able to do what quench all the fairy darts 
I said to you again, if the devil cannot succeed in attacking the faith of a man, the devil cannot succeed in attacking that man. Before the devil brings sickness upon a man, he attacks your faith on divine healing. Before the devil brings an attack on your finance, he attacks your faith of God's word concerning that thing. There are several examples in scriptures. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 28 to 20, 31. Severally we saw Jesus. He will say to his disciple, O thou of little faith. Let's see Matthew chapter 14, verse 18. During forever your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. You reign forever. Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. 1428. Sorry, 1428. answered him and said Lord if it be thou do what bid me to come unto thee on the waters do we know the story what a great feat Lord if it is you ask me to come Lord if it is you is ever great <laughs> you are the reason before time began you reign forever your name is with such a great conviction Lord if it is you ask me to come what a strong and great faith the Lord said to him come and the Bible said Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the waters There was something Peter knew about Jesus for him to ask him, Lord, if it is you, ask me to come. <laughs> there was something, I guess, that was bubbling in his spirit. There is a revelation of Jesus he knew that others did not know. 
that was so strong and powerful that was propelling him to declare Lord Lord if it is you ask me to come ask me to come it's like I'm beginning to sense something I'm beginning to shift what I want to say now Lord if it is you ask me to come and the Lord said to him come with such great faith he stepped out of the boat and began to walk but the Bible says along the line he looked at certain things along the line the wind came he shifted his eyes it's like there was a shift about the revelation of God in his heart that made him to ask earlier Lord if it is you ask me to come he came upon the waters and the Bible said when he saw the wind he became afraid afraid and he began to seek. Jesus reached out to him and lifted him up. And what was the remark of Jesus? He said, What? O ye of what? Little faith. If your faith can sink, you can't sink. Before the devil will make any man to sink, he must first of all allow your faith to sink. As long as your revelation of Jesus have not shifted. As long as your eyes is still beholding the one that asks you to come. As long as there is a fresh revelation in your heart. And you have an understanding and a revelation of the one between whom you are doing and having an interaction and transaction with. As long as your focus is still on him. And nothing has affected your faith in him. There is no way the devil can make you sink. The devil will make a man to sink in hatred when he has first of all affected his faith about the love of God. Any man can sink in sin when the devil affects his revelation of the righteousness of God. Many are wallowing in poverty because the devil has affected their revelation of Jesus in the prosperity of God. I said to you tonight, you can't go down if your faith has not gone down. I said to you tonight, as long as your faith is intact, you can't go down. The devil can do you nothing if your faith is strong. He said, take in the shield of faith. Take in the shield of faith. No wonder Paul said in Romans chapter 1, from verse 17, verse 8, he said, the jaw shall live by faith. Each time your faith is intact, you stand victorious against the devil. I tell you, it's a faith walk. Is a faith walk. <laughs> I'm a faith man. The judge shall live by their faith. Show me a man that is strong in his faith. I'll show you a man that is standing victoriously against the devil. Let me rush. In Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 11, from verse 5. When God, when Jesus wanted to help John, because Jesus knew where the problem was, Jesus knew the problem was not about what he was sent to do. You know, my father said something in Kingdom Violence. He said, assuming Jesus was not doing what he was asked to do John probably John will have a better reason to say are you the one but when Jesus wanted to help John Jesus knew the problem was not what he was sent to do Jesus knew what the problem was and in addressing John what did Jesus say to John Matthew chapter 11 verse 5 the blind received their sight. That is, go and tell him. And the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. 
before I explain this in John chapter 1 verse 22 and 23 we saw John making a confession about what was said concerning him in the book of Isaiah meaning John was very conversant with the book of Isaiah what Jesus was saying Jesus was pointing him back to the prophecy of Isaiah Jesus pointed John back to the prophets let's see Isaiah chapter 63 let me begin to there are several scriptures but I will not read all I'll just give you two then I will move ahead Isaiah chapter 63 from verse 1 to 3 then we we'll look at Isaiah chapter 40 verse 7 you can also look at Isaiah chapter 29 and there, but let's just look at Isaiah chapter 61 to 3 and Isaiah 40 verse 7 we all know you Lord 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 We honor you, Lord. Okay, let's read. Who is this that cometh from Edom? Is this the scripture? Sorry, Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are what. This was what John was expecting. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Verse 3, then we move. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them. You know the whole story. Go to Isaiah chapter 42, verse 7. Isaiah 42 verse 7 to open the blind eyes and to bring out of the prisoners from the prison and to them that what sit in darkness what now hear me friends hmm. <laughs> John's problem was that the devil was attacking his feet Jesus in the bid to rescue John knew where the problem was and pointed right at the problem in response to John's answer Jesus said the word to John Jesus pointed back John to the prophecy of Isaiah because the prophecy of Isaiah is the word of God because Jesus knew the problem was not him. The problem was the faith of John. And in addressing him, Jesus knew that faith can only come by hearing the word of the Lord. So Jesus said to John, said to himself, go and tell him. Jesus was pointing him back to the prophecies of Isaiah, which is the word of God. Jesus was saying to him, John, hear my word. This is the word I'm saying to you because what you need, your faith to come back. Because all John needed was his faith to come back. And if John's faith will come back, John needs a word. Because faith will never come without the word. So Jesus pointed him back to the prophecies of Isaiah. Because the prophecies of Isaiah is the word of God. Because in what Jesus said to him in Matthew chapter 11 verse 5. Is the word of God. And as long as John could receive that word if John was able to receive that word his faith would have come back I want to say to you this morning or this night this evening
All you need to push the devil back from your family is in the word of God. It doesn't matter what you are going through. If you can't lose faith, the devil can't prevail over your family. But paraventure you are the midst of, of it seems as if you are giving up. You don't know what to do. God's word to you tonight is receive the word of God and faith will come alive. I show you one story and we'll begin to pray. Mark chapter 5. Because when the word comes to you, there is something God expects you to do with the word of God. When the word of God comes to you and your faith is quickened, there is a way to express faith. It is one thing to believe that you will not die. It is another thing to know how to engage your faith. It is one thing to stand strong in faith. Because as God's word is coming to you, you are knowing that if the devil can attack your faith, the devil can attack you. Then you must know how to express your faith. I show you a story that we begin to pray. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. A very familiar story. Mark 5, 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Go. And had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew what worst. And when she did what? Please, when she did what? When she heard of Jesus, <laughs> came in depressed. Behind and touched his garment. Look at the next verse. For she did what? For she said, I don't hope the, I don't have the whole time to read the whole story. But at the end of the story, the Bible said, Jesus said, Who touched me? And the disciples said, Can't you see people thronging you? You are saying, Who touched you? And Jesus, knowing something has happened in him, and the woman being afraid, came to him and said, Master, it is I. And Jesus said, What? Daughter, thy words, thy faith has made you whole. She heard, she said. And Jesus said, your faith. Why is it important for her to hear? Because there is no way fear, faith can come without hearing. So at the point she heard, there was faith. But hear me, friends. It is one thing to have faith. It is another thing to speak forth your faith. The Bible says, she said. She said. She said because the righteousness of faith will always speak. The Bible says in, in Romans chapter 10 and verse 6, it said, We, it said, the righteousness of God speaketh in this wise. Say not, we shall ascend into the heaven to bring Jesus down, or we shall descend into the deep to bring him again. But what sayest thou that the word is near thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, even the word of faith which we preach? So, hear me, friends, there is one thing to have faith, is another thing to speak it forth. Second Corinthians chapter 14, verse 13 said, and we believe let's look at second Corinthians chapter 14 and 13 so this is where we want us to begin to pray you can have faith the devil cannot attack your finance there is a point to push it further by saying second Corinthians 14 verse 13 I will begin to pray Second Corinthians 14 13. Are we there? Okay, let me read from the Bible. Second Corinthians 4 verse 13. Can we read together? We we what? Having the word, the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, what happened? I believe and therefore what have I spoken? Faith that is not expressed in confession can never become a reality. 
to have faith and not speak it's not to bring it's to stop your reality your, your manifestation from coming to reality so when your faith is alive the next thing God wants you to do is to do what? speak it forth you hear me friends? my father said something he said every victorious Christian is an active talker every victorious Christian is an active talker not a talkative because there is a way we talk in the kingdom we don't talk what we see we talk what we want to see everyone that must be victorious in this Christian your mouth must be always active you must keep confessing what God has said concerning you I know you believe the realities of God in your heart there is another way to bring it into reality it is time to say it forth hear me even the fathers of faith were men of confession no wonder the psalmist said in Psalm 91 he said he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and I said I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress my Lord and my God in him will I trust he said surely he will deliver me from the slaves of the fallers and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover me with his wind and under his feather shall I dwell his truth shall be my shield and my buckler and no we said I shall not be afraid of the terror by day not the pestilence by night these are talking men these are talking men you cannot be victorious in this Christian and you are always keeping quiet what has God said concerning you it is time to comfort and say it the Bible says let the redeem of the Lord do what? Say so. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. I am weak but let him say I am strong. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. We have been quiet for too long. Can I again say the Lord said to him that his people does not have problem in believing. They have problem in saying. You hear me friends? You can have anything you say. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11 from verse 23. It says, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt what he said. He shall have whatsoever he said. You can have anything. It doesn't matter what the mountain is. It is time to rise up and speak to the mountain. You can have what you say. Whosoever shall say, I know you believe, it is time to translate your belief to confession. Hear me, friends, in the realm of the spirit, there are certain possibilities you will not step into until you confess them because your mouth is a gateway in the spirit realm. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. He said, For by faith we know the Lord we are created by the word of the Lord. By faith we know, Hebrews chapter 3, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. By faith we know that the word we are created by the word of the Lord, so that those things that be not became as though they were not. And in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and dark void. And darkness was upon the surface of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Darkness was upon the surface of the deep. All God needed to do was to speak. Darkness has prevailed in your family because you are keeping quiet. It is time to rise. He said, I am the redeemer of the Lord. I walk upon my high places. It is time to arise and say, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not evil. For thou art with me. The rod and the staff, they comforted me. Thou preparest a devil before me in the presence of my enemy thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over he said surely 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 goodness and mercy shall follow me why will they follow you not because you believe alone because you said it hear me friends you've been defeated for too long 
it is time to arise it is time to be an active talker see ayina magada baluko dobra hata nakatia lakata I am the righteousness of God for he made him that knew no sin to become sin for me that I may become the righteousness of God for I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. It is no longer I that live, but Christ that liveth in me. The life I live, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and died for me. I declare the Lord is my shepherd. Oof. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The glory of God is all over this place. Shama kabando robo nakatiya.
I sense something so strong by that side. The hand of God is becoming strong on my left hand side. The hand of God is calling upon somebody so mightily there. La putu shuka bara keke prete. Raga 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 da bala raga da bala gadi ala raga da bala raga da. Raga raga da bala raga da bala raga da raga da. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. So go, hear me now, hear me. We will so go. Aye. The Lord took Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones and said to him, Son of man, son of man, with this bone live again. Son of man. The Holy Ghost is asking somebody now again. With that your family prosper again. The Holy Ghost is asking somebody. With that mountain come down. It's a son of man with this boy live again. Thank God for Ezekiel. He said, Thou knowest. Thou knowest. And the Lord said to him, Son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. To prophesy is to speak forth the word of God. To prophesy is to speak forth the word of God. He said, Son of man, prophesy.
up your hands everywhere. I see something like a ring, a ring. And I hear the Lord said to me, I'm bringing someone. I, I. The Lord is giving someone a bat. By that bat, the Lord is rewriting everything that consigns you. Lord, who is that person you are giving a bet this more evening? Who is that person? Who is that person? Who is that person? I tell you, by this path that the Lord is giving you, the Lord is rewriting things about you. You will see your life take a, a new shift, a new shift. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. tell you the truth is a new beginning for somebody is a new beginning for somebody is a new beginning for somebody I tell you the truth is a new beginning for somebody is a new beginning for somebody someone is coming into strange favor strange favor people you don't know will give you things that will marvel you I'm telling you the truth the Lord said to me, someone is coming into strange favor, strange favor. The person, you will hear the testimony in this place. People you don't know will give you things that will marvel you. You don't know Jesus. It's like the devil has been playing or toying around with your life and you want to put an end to it. You want to say, Jesus. Jesus. I tell you, there are a lot of things happening here, but we have to go. You want to say, Jesus, I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior as all eyes are closed. You want to, you know you've been hearing about Jesus, but you don't have a relationship with him. I want to pray with you. Oh, thank you. You want to say, Jesus, come into my life. I want to pray with you. 
we have such kinds of persons here you can just indicate your hand up you want to make a confession for Jesus don't be shy you want to say Jesus I want to have this power that is a power that makes a man to become a son of God I would like to pray with you you know you've not making your decision a decision for Jesus anyone like that